everybody um, not really off to a good start today you'll have noticed in my last video a picture I put towards the end of the video of my foot um, I don't know what the problem is but it hurts and it's kind of been doing it over the past couple weeks really but last night it looked way worse than it has been. And it's basically it looks like I've been standing on a bunch of tiny rocks for a long time. There's just a bunch of little tiny indentions in my foot. And it's really red. Well, I don't know what is going on. I'm still able to walk fine it's just pretty painful but I got nine days left and I've just got to try to tough it out and obviously if things start getting way worse then I'll have to get off trail and get it checked I guess but As it is now, I can push through the pain. But besides that, uh, since yesterday morning, we've been hiking with, uh, many people call them the twins. Uh, there's been a couple set of twins on trails here, but I ran into these guys up in Oregon and they're heading all the way down to Walker Pass but I don't know we might stick with them all the way to Kearsarge as well we camped with them last night <coughs> but uh I woke up at 6 45 this morning which is, you know, pretty early for all of us. Nobody ever leaves earlier than that. And I was the only one there. The other four were already gone. And I didn't know people were planning to leave that early, so... <laughs> I have no idea what time they actually left but uh, I guess I'll be playing catch up all day the girls talked about doing 28 miles sounds horrible to me we all have to go into Kennedy Meadows North here in a little bit to pick up boxes so I sense uh another night hike coming tonight if I want to keep up so all right time to finish this climb I'm actually up above 10,000 feet now for the first time I believe since I left the Sierras a few months ago
Okay, you'll have to forgive me, I'm 100% out of breath already. But um, I'm just leaving Sonora Pass. So I was leaving with Cacao and Smiles. And then somebody walked up and was like, you want some trail magic? And me being the starving person that I always am, couldn't resist. The girls surprisingly kept going. So I'm pretty far behind now. <laughs> it's two o'clock. Our planned campsite is 20 miles away and I'm probably gonna die. <laughs> uh, I'll definitely be night hiking now. Um, Yeah, trail's not too bad. I got a pretty big climb here. In fact, I believe I'm gonna end up in that little saddle up there here in a couple miles. But once I'm up there, the trail isn't too bad. And it's one of the most beautiful sections, so I'm excited about that. But yeah, big thanks to uh, forgive me, I can't even remember their names now. Uh, three locals. They actually work at uh, Kennedy Meadows, where I just was, picking up my box and all that. But they decided to come up for the day, and they had hot dogs and cold drinks and chips. I ended up downing six hot dogs. So I'm very full now. Should have plenty of energy to knock out this 20 miles, hopefully. And I'm gonna try to do it with one break. We'll see if I can pull that off, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated. Getting close to the top. That's the little saddle that I pointed out earlier. Huh. Definitely exhausting. And I'm ready to be on flat ground. So right down there is where I had trail magic. And you can see the trail most of the way up and then it comes up over here on this ridge but I'm almost to that saddle thank goodness <sighs> two o'clock is definitely not the best time of day to be doing this but there is a nice breeze so it could be a lot worse Here's a good look at the trail. And then I'll cross that snowfield up there and then cross and go around the other side of this.
That's the trail up there, crossing that snowfield. Oh, some really steep climbs in this section. They're mostly short, but definitely wearing me out. Well, I'm trying my absolute best to minimize the night hiking. And I'm putting my body through absolute hell but to do it. I don't know what's going on with my feet. I don't think it's the shoes. I'm thinking it's the socks. Um, are just kind of getting rough. But I'm honestly scared to take my shoes off because I think I'm, I've rubbed them pretty much raw in multiple spots. It's actually, like it hurts. As long as I keep moving, it's, you know, manageable. But if I like stop and take a break and try to get going after that, it's pretty difficult. So I actually haven't taken a break. Uh, since I left Sonora Pass. Um, a little over five hours ago. I'm on pace to get to camp around 8.20. Should be about six hours and 20 minutes to do just under 21 miles. And I'm just feeling like absolute death. I really, really badly want to stop and eat, but I'm also so close that I, I feel like I can't now. I just gotta push a little harder to get there. <sighs> Eight days left. I'm hoping my feet will hold up eight days. They probably won't, but I'm gonna just, have to make them do it, I guess. I think tomorrow I'll probably wash out my socks in a stream somewhere and hopefully that'll help a little bit. And then if it really gets bad enough, what I'll do is just pretty much wrap my entire foot and luco tape which isn't the most pleasant thing to rip off when the time comes but I'd probably wrap it where it stays for a whole week which I don't even know if that'd be good for my feet probably not but I'm gonna do what it, whatever it takes to finish so well, here's my first river ford of the Sierra uh, if I looked around a lot, I might be able to find somewhere where I could cross with dry feet, but I know we have several river crossings tomorrow, so not really any avoiding it, so I'm just gonna walk through. I'm hoping it actually makes my feet feel better.
definitely refreshing. And feels good on my feet for now, but I could also see it, or I could also see it making them worse once they start drying, but we'll see. Well, I almost did it. Um, made it to, I think I'm about a mile from camp. Just turned the headlamp on. Uh, definitely got closer than I thought I would. I never really expected to uh, knock out the 21 miles without a break. Uh, I just got maybe a quarter mile of flat and then the rest is downhill and flat to the lake finding cacao and smiles may be a challenge I sent them a message earlier when I had service asking them to leave a tracking pole out where I could see it. But they never received it. I don't think they were, or they were already past where the, where the service was. So, hoping I can find them. If not, I know they're camped there at the lake, so. Well, I'm here at the entry to Yosemite National Park about 0.7 from the lake I know you can't see it on video probably but I can already see a corner of the lake and I already see some lights probably a lot of people uh, camped here I'm sure besides us it's a pretty popular spot I'm kind of hoping there's enough daylight I can still maybe get a good picture of the lake. Alright, time to put the phone away. The trail's really rocky and I don't want to hurt myself. 